Hi, I'm going to put this portrait of a girl on top of this background that I created. If you haven't seen the background video, go back one. Let's get started. I adjusted my camera angle because I'm going to sit to do this face. Bring my chair in. I normally don't sit when I'm doing my videos unless I'm drawing. Then I, for some reason I do have to sit down. So I'm just going to sketch her starting with the normal proportion marks. To get an idea where I want to place her features. So halfway down is the eye placement. Halfway between the eyes and the chin would be the nose. And then halfway between the nose and the chin would be the center line of the mouth. The outside edges of the mouth should be in alignment with the pupils of the eyes. And the edges of the nose should be in alignment with the inside corners of the eyes. This is a water-soluble graphitone pencil. It's a medium wash, which is a 4B. So I am just going to sketch features in a little bit. The struggle is always getting the eyes the same. But we do our best. Helps me to draw the left eye first because I'm right handed. If I draw the right eye and then go to draw the left eye, my hand covers up the right eye that I've already drawn and so it makes it hard to get them symmetrical. But if I draw this one first, the left one, when I move over to the right I can see what I did over there. So that's what I do. And she's just going to be kind of a whimsical girl. I'm not going for super realism here because it just takes too long. So, okay. And then this is water soluble, so as I add my paint, some of these marks will just darken the paint and disappear. I can get some shading in at the start. Bottom lip. Always a shadow underneath the bottom lip. already see see this eye is much bigger than this eye. Let's see if we can adjust here a little bit. And then some brows. 
gonna scribble them in. Okay, and then I can. The face is obviously already established on the crease here for me on this side. So I'm just going to bring this in a little bit. She's going to have crackles on her neck. <laughs> I mean, she's old like me. I have crackles on my neck too. I'm going to dry in between each layer so I don't lift the paint. I grabbed some DecoArt Fluid Acrylics. I have Burnt Sienna and Burnt Umber. I'm going to start with the Burnt Umber and just start to establish some of the shadows. I don't know if I can get my Filbert brush out. My favorite Filbert brush, this is a number 8 Snap Filbert. I just really, really like it. I'm going to put some of that flesh tone in my brush first. And then I'm going to side load it with the Burnt Umber. So it's loaded with flesh all the way across and then just side loaded with Burnt Umber so I can come down here and just get a shadow along. The outside of her face. And then I'm just going to walk it out a little bit so it's not so much of a line. So if you're going to use a side load, always keep that dark edge where you want your shadow. So I just flip my brush over. I'm into that crackle now so it's not going on real smooth, but you get the idea. And I can just back blend some straight flesh color into it if I want to. Or I can add just some of the straight burn on bar on this side to establish more of a shadow where there would be less light because my light's coming from this way. And then I have to turn, I'm sorry. I'm going to just run that burn over right down in the crease here because that's wasn't really going to take that side of her face across onto the other page. I was just going to let it end there. So a little bit of a shadow across there. I hope I'm still in frame for you. So now I'm going to just fully mix the Burnt Umber and Flesh Tone in my brush just for a darker flesh tone and come across this side just establish some shading.
just kind of dry brushing it on really. There's a paper line right there. The paint doesn't want to go on evenly there. I'm just going to dab it. And it'll be fine. I'm probably seeing it a lot more than you are because I'm right on top of it. said I wasn't going to get fussy about her, but I already am, huh? Right, let's get a little loose down here on her neck. Okay, now that this is dry over here, take some burnt sienna and do the same thing. Pick up some of this warm beige and then side load with the burnt sienna. Kind of a heavy side load. And I'm just going to go down and then walk it in. Just try and get a little bit more of a transition onto her face with the shading without having stripes.
okay, I worked on her a little bit. Um, darks and lights and shadows and highlights. And then I tried to further define her eyes with this pit um, brush pen. And I used some shading gray just to get some more definition around her eyes and her nose a little bit. So she looks a little bit better now. So I need to decide what I want to do with her hair. And I have this stamp that I'm thinking I'll just scumble in some hair and leave a lot of this color showing. And then maybe I'm going to stamp that on top. So... That's what I'm thinking. This is taking a lot longer than I expected it to. I'm going to give her some eyelashes, though, if I can get one of these pit pens to work over this acrylic. I'm not sure. All right. I'm leaving her face alone. She's fine. Um, I stood back and noticed and if you can see where I took my stabilo and went here, that's where her hair is going to be. So I'm just going to wet a brush and activate that so I can see it better. up this floral stamp and I think I want it to this side right there Trying not to move it, but to get an impression of all of it. Okay, that's what I wanted. So I may use some Inktense pencils to color those flowers when they're good and dry. And then if I'm going to keep this color in her hair, then I need to paint out some negative space around her. It doesn't have to be all of it. And I may use that shading gray, maybe, to just get a shadow, more of a shadow than what the Stabilo gave me around the outside. So I'm going to dry the stamp really well. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, I used the High Flow Shading Gray and went around the outside of her hair. So I've established like a shadow. So you can clearly tell that that's her hair. And I'm going in with a Inktense Pencil in Chili Red. And I think because that's already red back there. I'm going to try and maybe keep the flowers a little on the orange side. So I'm going to go in with red where the background is showing yellow. And then I'll do the opposite and use the yellow ink tints where there's more red coming through. So I'm just going to lay the pencil down first and then I'll activate it with some matte medium to try to stabilize it a little bit. A little more 
more red toward the centers. Okay, then this is cad yellow. I'm just going to put a little bit here and there on this one just to kind of get a little orange going. This sort of bothers me the way it's the stamp stopped right there. So I am going to grab a pen. It's always a crapshoot as to whether a certain type of pen is going to work over top of acrylic or not. This one seems to be doing okay. But I'm going to extend it. I'm sure my hand's in the way. I'm just extending that down here to meet at a better ending point. And the rest is okay. I sort of lost my demarcation there, but I don't mind that. Shading gray is all dry now. It was a little sticky there for a while. So, I probably should leave her be. <laughs> I do have a tendency to just keep going and going and going, and sometimes I regret it. It seems like I want to do something in here, but I don't know. I don't mind this over here. I probably should stop and just stand back and look at it better. I think I'm going to let it be as it is for right now. I'm sure this video is going to end up being way longer than anybody wants to watch anyways because this took me forever. It's been three and a half hours um, of actual work time. I will get it knocked down for you. So <laughs> It's not such a long video. But I really, really, really appreciate you guys coming along and visiting me and leaving me nice comments. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. I have channel memberships now and some really cool perks. So if anybody's interested in checking that out, just click that little join button next to my subscribe button and you can go read all about it. And in the meantime, Go make some art.